Have you heard of Holocaust survivor Eva Kor? She and her sister Miriam endured horrific suffering in Auschwitz, and as twins, they were subject to the medical experiments of the sadistic Dr. Mengele. Sadly, they lost their entire family, their parents, their siblings, all their relatives in the gas chambers. In 1995, after living for decades with the psychological anguish and mental torture, Eva traveled to Auschwitz and issued a declaration of amnesty and forgiveness for Dr. Mengele and all Nazi perpetrators of the Holocaust. Later on, she said, Forgive your worst enemy. It will heal your soul and set you free. When is forgiveness appropriate and when is it not? Should there be specific criteria that must be met, remorse for example, in order to earn forgiveness? Does forgiving an offender absolve them of their misdeed? Is it an expression of understanding, of acceptance, of atonement? Or does forgiveness simply mean that you, the victim, are letting go, while they, the offender, are still guilty as before, morally culpable in the eyes of the law? Does forgiveness break the unwanted connection between the victim and the offender? Or does it actually strengthen the bond and build a deeper relationship? What do you think? Join me this Tuesday as we explore the Jewish approach to forgiveness. I look forward to a great conversation.